Right, hello. Right, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name's Nino, and uh, and let me introduce the car. This is Fox Anne, which um, if you're a follower of the Hubnut channel, you'll know this car from his channel because it was one of uh, one of his fleet which I bought off him um, in October. Um, right, so why did I buy Fox Anne? Well, I've always been a fan of Reliance and um, this is a car made by the uh, Reliant company and if you're aware of um, <clears throat> if you're aware of Reliant Robins which um, if you live in the UK you'd know what a Reliant Robin is it's a small um, small three-wheeled car which actually was uh, was manufactured well the Robin itself was manufactured from the 70s up until the 90s or yeah I think maybe 2000 ish was about the last uh, the last production um, uh, it was a three-wheeled car that was basically designed to get around the um, <clears throat> get around driving license requirements because you could drive it on a motorcycle license. Um, but then uh, they became less popular as uh, as the laws were updated, and unfortunately, uh, eventually stopped production. But anyway, the Reliant company that made the uh, the Reliant Robin three-wheelers uh, had been in had been in business for quite a long time. They've been making three-wheeled vehicles since I think possibly the 1930s or 40s. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, in the 70s, no, in the 60s, they decided to branch into uh, into four-wheeled vehicles, and they made a car called the Reliant Rebel, which was a four-wheel car, and then. Um, that was alongside the Regal, which was the 60s uh, three-wheeler. And then in the 70s, the Regal was replaced by the Robin. And the four-wheeled version then was the Kitten, which was basically exactly the same as a Robin um, from the, let's say, from the dashboard back. It was exactly the same as a Robin, except it had um, two wheels at the front and the engine slightly further forward. So if you followed a Reliant Kitten, you'd think it was a Robin until you actually overtook it or, or, or it turned off or something and you could see the front wheels. Anyway, um, the Kitten was manufactured from, I think, 73 up until 82, although I think you could still get them on special order until quite a lot later than that. And in 83, uh, they decided they needed a, <clears throat> a new design and... Uh, the result was the fox, which is which is what you see here, which is basically a little um, utility pickup. Now the fox is actually based on the um, kitten chassis, so the chassis for the fox is pretty much identical to the kitten, which was the four-wheeled robin. Um, there's only a few minor differences, a uh, little bit difference in the front suspension <coughs> and, and things like that. But uh, but the body on the fox is actually quite a lot wider than the kitten, which is why you've got a you've got a gap here between the edge of the um, <clears throat> between the edge of the dashboard and the and the pillar. So it's about I think it's about four inches wider, which gives you a little bit more gives you a little bit more shoulder room, and, and you don't feel quite so um, quite so blocked in as you do in the kitten. Anyway, um, let's have a look at the outside of the car. Okay, well here she is from the outside, and as you can see. She's a, a little utility pickup, and you could order these in various styles. Um, you could get it with just the basic pickup, just as the basic pickup with uh, with no cover on the back, or you could order it with the uh, with the rear hard top, and you could get the hard top either with or without windows. And if you had the windows in the hard top. You could also have um, a rear seat which folded down so it's actually quite a practical little car uh, and came in all sorts of different uh, shapes and sizes right so if i have a look in the back of the hardtop here you can see this is the uh, basically the van version which doesn't have side windows there's a fair bit of space in there and uh, surprisingly enough you can carry around 400 kilos in the back of one of these um, they only weigh, they only weigh 600, I think 630 kilos unladen. Uh, so with 400 kilos on board, you've still got a, a vehicle that's uh, weighing all up only around a ton. So, um, 
there you are that is fox Anne, the reliant fox which i have bought from mr ian seabrook uh, of hubnut fame and uh, i shall be taking this car on another little adventure in the next couple of days because uh, on sunday which is probably going to be i think you probably won't see this video until after sunday but on sunday i'm taking her up to the um, haynes museum breakfast club for a meeting with a few other like-minded um what should we call us car nuts um <clears throat> up at yeovil so uh hopefully i might do a little bit of filming on the run up to there in the meantime goodbye and i'll see you soon <laughs>